This is Twip. As I mentioned earlier in the podcast, I'm going to show two different ways of doing a multicam edit in LumaFusion. One is based on a cooking show with three cameras and a separate audio recording. And then the other is a music video where you have a primary audio track, like a playback track that the musicians were performing to. I'm going to start by adding a multicam container from the ad clip menu. And then I'm going to tap Synchronizer. And I have three clips I'm going to use. I'm going to drop them right down here into the drop zones. One, two, and three. And now I'm going to drop the Zoom audio that we had recorded separately. And as you can see, these are not in sync yet, but we can either sync by audio waveforms or by time code or we can choose none, which would allow you to manually sync your media by moving it around. I'm going to choose auto, which is going to automatically choose best option for this footage. And now we have our three cameras and our audio in sync. Let's chop off the beginnings here. Some have good audio. These first two do not have good audio. Garnish for color as well as additional texture. These are or Fresno chili threads. The third one does have good audio. Don't actually add a lot of heat because... And the fourth one is our really good zoom audio. This is a garnish for color as well as additional texture. So I'm going to go ahead and map the fourth audio to camera one and camera two. So that anytime I cut to camera one or camera two, I'm going to get audio from the zoom recording. I'm going to close this and go back to the timeline and then choose switcher. Now, just by tapping on these thumbnails, Colors I can well go ahead and switch my media. Don't actually add a lot of heat because we took the seeds out. Beef and onion go so well together. No problem. If you make a mistake, you can go back and re-switch or you can go and trim. Now back on the timeline, I have my multicam clip. If I tap it once, I select the whole multicam clip and I can drag it anywhere on the timeline. And if I tap again, I'll get the individual cuts. Notice this shot here looks a little dark compared to the rest. I'm going to go back to my synchronizer, double tap on that clip to open it in the color corrector. And in here I can Reduce the gamma a little to brighten up those blacks. Now when I go back to the timeline, every time we cut to that clip, it's now color corrected. On the other hand, if I wanted to do just a color correction for one clip or an effect, I tap on just that clip in the timeline. Let's see, what do we want to put on there? Back on the timeline, you see that is just on now that one clip, not on the others. So let's go back and do a multicam edit for a music video. I'm going to start by adding a multicam container, and then I'm going to tap Synchronizer. Here's my clips. I'm going to drop my primary audio into this top track here. This track does not get cut when I cut all the others. And you see, as I'm dropping these into the drop zones, they are all muted automatically. If I wanted to map audio, I could still do that, but I don't. I'm just going to cut with the primary audio. Now I'm going to sync these. Now I'm going to close this and go back to the timeline and then choose switcher. My primary audio is not getting cut while I do this switching. That is Multicam. I hope you enjoyed it. Sometimes.